Hi, scrappy ladies. Welcome to day 14. Oh my gosh, that means Thanksgiving is next week. Oh, day 14 of Now You Know November, which, whoo, hi, Tina. Thanks for joining me here. <laughs> Okay, a little laugh. I mistakenly started this Facebook Live first on my Facebook group. And as I was telling you to do Facebook Lives on my business page, I realized I wasn't on my business page. So Tina, thank you so much for joining me over here on the business page as well. All right, day 14 of Now You Know November. This week is what I'm calling Facebook Live Week, where I am talking about everything you need to know in order to do your own Facebook Live. Today, I'm talking about planning for and preparing for a Facebook Live. Now, the one thing you absolutely do not want to do with the Facebook Live is not have a plan for what you're going to talk about on the Facebook Live. Um, don't show up and just start rambling and bambling been there done it it's not well received <laughs> it just doesn't work you definitely want a plan for what you're going to talk about now um, what will you talk about first of all let me let me jump back a step first of all you can do a Facebook live on your personal profile on a business page or in a Facebook group my suggestion is you uh, and this is this is gonna like tease you a little bit for something I already talked about Go start your Facebook business page if you haven't already, and there is a video on how to do that in the same, um, in the Scrappy Frontier business page, business group, excuse me, and create your own business page. Um, you're not going to have to be married to it for life. Name it something general enough that matches your business, even if you don't have all of the details of your business worked out, but not too specific that if you do have a little bit of a direction change or whatever in a bit as you build your business, that it still will make sense. You can have as many business pages as you want on Facebook. So I suggest you go start one start putting some content in there if your business as you build it takes a complete zag you can go start another business page it's not a big deal but the reason i would love for you to start on your business page doing facebook lives is one i believe taking real concrete steps to starting your business will help you start your business and it's going to get you out of the mode of constant planning and preparing for and learning because quite frankly a lot of starting a business comes like you learn from the doing and so taking a real concrete step like starting a Facebook business page I think is a super easy way to take that first step you're not married to it for life it's free you still control all the pieces if you you know what you put in there, how you build your audience, if you build your audience at first, all of those things. Another reason I would suggest you do Facebook Lives on your business page is that is where you can promote. If you decide, for example, say you do a Facebook Live and you like, ah, oh, totally nailed that one, it was awesome, and, and you do get engagement and whatnot from your audience, you can promote that post as an ad, so to speak, to continue building your audience and to build your brand and build your business. So it's just a smart thing to do on your business page. You can always then share it to a Facebook group or share it to your personal profile, but it's only if you originate it in the Facebook business page that you can promote it. So that was my business page push, nudge, gentle shove to go <laughs> to go launch your business page. Okay, so what would you talk about on a Facebook Live? There are a million things you can talk about on a Facebook Live, but I know that's also kind of like the cereal aisle syndrome, like when you walk in the cereal aisle and you have no idea which ones to pick, you know, Count Chocula or Wheaties, right? So let's talk about some specifics. First of all, Facebook Live is a great way to, um, to talk about and introduce yourself not ad nauseum, like where you just get on Facebook Live every day and talk about yourself, but it is certainly a great way to introduce yourself and who you are, why you started your business, what you love about the business, what you love about your thing, you know, the thing that you sell or whatever. So you can certainly keep it conversational and just introduce yourself. Um, another thing that works really well on Facebook Lives are behind the scenes kind of videos. Um, and we saw that today from one of the Scrappy Frontier group members, Linda Footy. Thank you for being our very first Facebook Live in the Scrappy Frontier group. 
Um, and if you haven't joined the group yet, please do. That's where we're practicing our Facebook Lives. She did a fabulous behind the scenes video today where she walked us through. She's getting ready to redo um, like her craft room in her home. And she's actually doing a course on that, I think decorating or whatever. So she did a behind the scenes of what the room looks like now. And then she'll, I've encouraged her to continue doing Facebook Lives as it moves forward and progresses because people wanna see that transformation. And that's one of the beautiful things about Facebook Live is you can show people, you can show people stuff. So that's really great. So behind the scenes works really well. You could talk about um, something you're working on currently, a product or uh, you know whatever it happens to be. It's, behind the scenes, people want to know that you're real, for one, and Facebook Live is going to help show that, and they really want to see what you're working on. People are visual people. So you could do behind the scenes type videos, you could do introductory videos. Where I recommend starting if you're really kind of at a loss for what to talk about is choose a topic, something very, very specific. So for example, um, this Facebook Live is only about how to plan for a Facebook Live and actually start, like literally start the Facebook Live. That's it. That's all I'm talking about in this video. One very specific topic. So take something, um, and I think it's important to remember this as well, which I've talked about. When you think about your own thing, your product or service, you're an expert in that thing already. And so sometimes we, it's easy to forget what other people don't know or would be interested in. So for example, um, uh, well, we have Tina here. She makes these really awesome labels for planners. So you can stickers and labels for planners. So she could show how she makes those or how she comes up with ideas for those labels or stickers. So people wanna know like what's behind the product or service and they love to see how it's made. So another one, for example, I just bought this dress. It's called like, I think the store is called One Dress. They literally make one dress, one model, just different fabrics, one dress. But they have a beautiful story about, you know, the one dress and how it's made. Uh, and so they talk behind the scenes how it came to be. She was traveling, needed a dress to travel, blah, 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 uh, and just wanted to pack light and she didn't want it to wrinkle. And so she told that story behind the scenes. And I think that's a great place to start. So I would say if um, in another Facebook Live topic that just to kind of spark your inspiration and creativity, um, I have a friend who uh, sells a line of chalk paint and she will do a Facebook Live and show you a specific technique for using the chalk paint. And so that's a really great one. Maybe um, if you're more of a service oriented business, maybe a personal coach or you create, um, trying to think, a coach, something else. Oh, we'll just go with coach because I can't think of anything else right now. I'm freezing. Ah! So maybe you're a coach. Talk about a topic that you normally talk about with your clients. Maybe it's productivity or mindset or something and then take one little piece of that topic and just talk about it the more specific your topic can be i think the more valuable it becomes because you can dig really deep in that topic and your facebook lives can be anything from you know 30 seconds to 30 minutes and beyond i've seen them all holding people's attention for 30 minutes is harder and so I'm going to talk about a few things around holding people's attention as well. But the more specific your topic can be, I think the more valuable because you can really dig deep into it and, you know, give people all the information they need about that topic. So that's what I would say about how to find, you know, content for your Facebook Live. And like I said, if you want to, if you're not in the Facebook group, Go ahead and join the Facebook group. And if you're a little bit stumped on what to talk about, you know, ask in the group, like, what should I talk about? This is what I do. And we can zing some ideas at you for maybe some possible topics. Okay. So head on over to the Scrappy Frontier Facebook group for that. Okay. Next, what do we want to talk about? Da, 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 da. Okay. The next thing you need to decide is where you're going to go Facebook Live. And as I mentioned in the beginning is I would really suggest you go live on a business page and start building your content and start building a warm audience there. And I know that's a bit of a, a scary step because somehow creating a business page makes your business real. And sometimes that's a little scary and we hesitate. But here's the deal. Start a Facebook page for your business now. It 
you're not going to have, you know, until you really start promoting it, people aren't going to find it. So it's going to be kind of your private space to practice and whatnot. And, you know, if your business takes another direction, you can close that business page down and start a new one, or you can have two business pages. It's, you're not, this is not like a lifelong commitment. So I'd say go ahead and start it. And I would do your Facebook lives on your uh, business page to start, to start. And there are reasons to do it other places, but I would say to start, go to your business page and do it. Except for your first one, you're going to go to the scrappy frontier group and do your first one over there. All right. People ask me all the time how I memorize what I'm going to say. Don't. Don't memorize. Do not memorize. What I want you to do is you're going to, hang on, I'm going to show you something right now. Da, 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 da. Hold on. Okay. This is what I'm going to show you right now. This is what I call my post-it note teleprompter. Post-it notes, that's it, folks. These are fun, hot pink ones. I have them in all colors. This is it. This is my teleprompter, and there's a couple reasons. One, you do not want to look scripted on a Facebook Live. Here's what Facebook Live scripted looks like. Hello, my name is Colleen, and I am reading this script, and oh my gosh, I'm not going to have one viewer in seven. I mean, you can't do it unless you're like a trained actor or newscaster. Using a teleprompter, one, they're very expensive. Two, it's a skill unto itself to not look like a robot, right? So this is what you want to do. So when you decide, here's what I do for every Facebook Live. As soon as I decide what topic I'm going to talk about, now, for example, let me just show you this. You probably can't read it. This is my whole week of Facebook Live notes, what I'm teaching you this week. So you can see I have, you know, Monday, Tuesday, da, da, da. Wednesday, and I just have bullet points, and I do them on paper first, like a bullet point first, uh, because then when I transfer each of those points to a post-it note, so I take one bullet and put it on a Facebook note, I can maybe jot down a few extra thoughts about what I want to mention around that point. Then the whole key is when you're doing your Facebook Live, you you know I'm I'm looking at these. The whole, like when you see me look down, I'm looking at these. So, and that's why I was like, oh, I think I have a post-it note out of order, which is why it got me a little confused. <laughs> so that's what I do. So then I write down each, each bullet point on these. And as I'm going through this Facebook Live, I simply peel it off, put it down. Then I'm on to the next one, right? See this one? This is what I'm talking about. Create post-it note teleprompter. That's exactly what I'm talking about right now. So we've just done that one. So I peeled it off, putting it down. So that's what you want to do, is have a little post-it note teleprompter to jog your memory of what you want to talk about. But it's so much more natural when it's not scripted. And I often, as I'm talking on Facebook Live about a point, something will come to mind and I'll be like, oh, I want to talk about that too, and I'll add it in. So it just it's just meant to jog your memory and get your kind of creative juices flowing and it gives you a plan, a map of where you're going during the Facebook Live, but then you're not overly scripted. So what I want to do now, and I, I wanted to, uh, I'm going to do a separate actual tutorial video so you can see the exact buttons I am talking about and how to do. I have a software I've been playing with where I can share my screen during a Facebook Live, but it's it's been pretty wonky, so I'm trying to figure out the tech behind it. So I'll do a separate video to show you exactly how, and I'll drop the link right in this in this post. But for now, it literally, when you go to do a Facebook Live, um, on your business page, when you create a business page, at the top of your business page feed always is like this large block where you have several options, one of which is start a live video. So you can't miss the button. So you literally click that. That does not mean you are live. In fact, you have to click a few more times to go live. So you click that button and it opens up a screen and it's gonna say, and it will ask you, say something about this video. That's where you're gonna put um, a title or a link or something you know that that indicates what the facebook live topic is about you can always come back and edit that after the fact which is what i do for example when i say there's going to be a video and i'm going to include a link i will go back when i'm finished with this facebook live i'll create that tutorial and i'll grab the link and i'll put it in that um description where it says you know say something about this video so you can always go back and edit that um, so that's not a problem then what you do is you Check. So now by this time, you've opened the, the page where Facebook Live is and you see yourself on camera. 
And I'll talk about equipment in another Facebook Live this week. But basically, you need a laptop or a phone with a camera. That's it to go Facebook Live. That's really all you need. So at this time, you're, you'll see yourself on the screen. And this is where you want to check your angle, your lighting. So like I have really good light coming in now. I, there's a window right in front of me, which is also making big glare on my glasses, which is the bane of my existence. Uh, but I also check my angle. So like I know like, oh, that angle's not so good. You're looking out my door at my my laundry closet. Oh. Right. So I go like this so you don't see as much of that. So you can check your actual angle. You can see how close you want to get if you want to get further. Just check your angle, make sure that there's like not a you know dirty pile of clothes behind you or something like that. <laughs> Been there, done that too. Um, so that you have a chance to check your angle and your lighting. And Facebook Live all now, it's a new feature. You can kind of talk. You're not being recorded at this time, but there's a little wave thing that shows you that it's capturing your sound. So that's a really good thing. And then what you see at the bottom of the screen is a go live button. And this is where it really happens. This is where you hit the button. Again, you are not live. You're going to see a countdown. Three, two, one. Boom. Then you're live. Now, what I suggest you do when you go live is don't start talking immediately. Like, give it one second. And I would suggest, and I learned this in, another, in a course I'm taking on Facebook Lives, or I took, is to freeze, like, the first second or two, like this. You may feel a little silly. You will feel silly, but there's a couple reasons for that. One, when you actually go live, like when you go three, two, one, boom, you're live, it still takes like a second to connect for Facebook. Also, you want to kind of hold a, a nice pose because once you're finished with your Facebook Live and you click done, that's really all you have to do, it renders and then it will appear on the business page. You have the option to choose the thumbnail that is going to be shown. So like when somebody is scrolling and your Facebook Live is there, you know how you always get like, sometimes there's like funny, like you're like, they always pick the worst picture to like be the thumbnail. It's called a thumbnail that shows for your video. If you freeze kind of in a nice pose or just a, you know, smile, whatever, you have the opportunity to pick which thumbnail Facebook shows as the thumbnail for your video. So that ensures you're going to have a nice one rather than a, you know, catching you with your eyes half closed or whatever. So that is Facebook Live. And I'm going to go, I'm going to do a video. And so I just wanted to take you today through the actual start, like how, which buttons to push. And when you first go live, you're going to freeze for a second or two with a nice pose or smile or whatever you want to do. And then my first recommendation is start strong with a strong, hey, hi, how are you? Whatever your kind of intro is and jump right to what you're going to talk about. Today, I'm talking about, you know, how to do this technique on to chalk paint your furniture. Jump right to the value of what you're doing. Um, what I don't recommend is, and we see it a lot, and this, this will make me crazy. Now, I'm going to imitate people I see all the time, and I, this is just so you don't do this. So we start a Facebook Live. And people start popping in and, oh, hey, hi, Tina. Oh, and then I was talking about this Facebook Live. Oh, my gosh, Betty and Jane. Oh, my God. Oh my, what was I talking about again? Okay, so you've seen that, right, where people, they get so distracted greeting people. I'm not saying don't greet people. Definitely, like, take, you know, every once in a while stop and greet people that are coming to see your Facebook Live. But don't make it like this chaotic thing, Take you know, say, hey, I want to stop and see who's joined here kind of thing, and then greet people. But once you start talking about a topic, keep on the topic. People are there for the value of what you're talking about. So you want to join in, like you want to start strong, like do your pose. And then, hi, welcome. This is day 14 of Now You Know November. Today, I'm talking about how you plan for your Facebook Live. Hit it right away. Tell them exactly what you're going to do in that Facebook Live and then start talking about that topic. Then every once in a while, you can stop and say, hey, I want to check comments and questions and see who's joined. And that's when you can greet people and you can answer specific questions that are coming in. Um, so you're not just breaking up your topic all the time because then it's like this all over the place and you're going to lose people right away. And the other reason you want a super strong start where you're like, you tell them exactly what you're going to talk about right off the bat is you have about three seconds to capture people's attention. 
yes, three seconds, because we are so inundated with video and photos and all of this stuff now, we literally have no attention span. So you gotta get right to it and tell them what you're gonna be talking about on the video. And if they're interested, they're gonna stay because they know what the value is. But if you start with, hey, I'm Colleen, I live in Florida and I'm the founder of the Scrappy, and I start going on and on about me and I'm four minutes in before I tell you why you're there, you're gone. You're gone, you don't, you don't really care. You can, of course, introduce yourself at some point in the video, but make it further on, unless your video is an introductory video, of course, which those are good too. But if your video is about a topic, get straight to it. So that is how you plan for Facebook Live. So just a quick recap, please go create your Facebook business page. If you need a video, there is one in the Scrappy Frontier business page right here. Start doing Facebook Lives. I want you to plan for your first Facebook Live and write down bullet points that you want to talk about. Create your own post-it note teleprompter so you have these that you can just peel off. So if you see them now, I've, they're a mess now on my desk. I'm going to show you because I've peeled them off. This is what I've peeled them off and just tossed them on my desk as I use them. They were in a nice tidy stack when I started and I just flip them off. Do your post-it note teleprompter. Go ahead and click the go live button. Check your lighting, your sound, your voice. Make sure you have good light coming in. Check your angle, all of those things. Click the, hit the good, the go live button. It'll count you down, three, two, one. Hold your pose, start strong right into the topic. And another thing I would suggest is, and this is just something I've learned by doing, Facebook Live, like if sometimes when I was first doing Facebook Lives, I thought I was being like really like energetic and everything. And then when I'd watch the video, I'd be like, hey, thanks for joining us today. It was like dull. Like I thought I was being like super energetic. I think for film or video or whatever, you have to be like overly energetic or overly emotive so that it comes across just at the energy level that you think it is if that makes sense. If there's any actors or actresses out here, you can probably explain that better. But it definitely, to make it translate onto video, you know, bring super high energy, if that's who you are. Definitely, you wanna bring your super high energy. So anyhow, I'm gonna click off for now. Say thank you for joining. Uh, I'm gonna go create this video right now and show you exactly where you click, what buttons to click and everything so you can do your Facebook Live. And then if you haven't joined the Scrappy Frontier Facebook group, please do. We are already starting to practice Facebook Lives there. It's a safe place to practice among a whole bunch of ladies who are doing their very first Facebook Lives as well. So it's the place to come learn, ask questions, get feedback, all of those good things. So I'm gonna say have a fabulous Tuesday wherever you are in the world. And I will see you right here tomorrow in the Scrappy Frontier Business page for yet another Facebook Live lesson. All right, cheers. Thanks for joining.